What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and today I want to talk to you guys about fasting and the ketogenic diet and how to pull it off and why you should give it a shot and why I'm going to give it a shot. So before we get started, please take the time to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it, it supports the channel and um, just to let you guys know, I, I pump out about you know five videos a week and here at OG Fitness, we're all about a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys who are busier, who have full-time jobs, have families, but who still love this shit. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, fasting. Oh, I just wanted to start off by telling you guys that I'll put a link down below and to this video that I saw recently and this video that inspired this video. So basically what I'm doing is I'm summarizing this half an hour video by this doctor who talked about uh, nutrition and more specifically fasting and the ketogenic diet okay so after watching this video I was really sold on uh, the idea and there are a lot of stuff there that I already kind of knew and at the same time that I, I was already kind of doing but this all kind of foc focal focalized it into uh, um, in a way that I could um, understand it and apply it okay so I just want to share this with you guys and uh, you guys will see. You, I, I'm, I'm convinced that you'll, um, you, you might, you might eventually want to give this a shot after you listen to, uh, to what I have to say here. So the first thing is fasting. Now, why should you fast? There's two main reasons. Okay, the first one is because it increases human growth hormone by two thousand percent. Think about that. Two thousand percent, not two hundred, not twenty, two thousand. So two zero zero. Zero. Three zeros. Two thousand percent human growth hormone. Okay? And human growth hormone, well, it affects longevity, um, you know, your, uh, your musculature, muscle mass, uh, recovery time. I mean, it's just, you know, like the, the best thing for your body. Okay? And it's not all natural. All you're doing is basically you're not eating. Okay? It's free. So, two thousand percent. So, think about that. Now, the other thing is it increases by 400% something called BDNF. Now, BDNF means uh, brain-derived neurotropic factor. Um, basically, what that means is that it's the growth hormone for your brain. So it's going to make your brain, um, you're going to grow more brain cells, you're going to be smarter, you're going to be more, um, you're going to have more clarity of thought, you know, um, so that's amazing. So imagine it boosts your brain performance by 400% and your body's performance by 2,000% and it's free. All you have to do is fast. Now how do you go about fasting? Well, in the video, like uh, there's some people who will fast one day and then the, the next day they'll, they'll eat normally and then they'll fast the other day. So they'll alternate the days that they fast and the days that they'll eat and then some people will like just uh, fast on the weekend. So on Friday and, and uh, sorry, on Saturday and Sunday they just won't fucking eat. And, but they'll eat normally from Monday to Friday, which is kind of bullshit. I think that's not sustainable and so does the doctor. But another way to, do, to go about it is that you use time-restricted eating, okay? So basically, and this is how I'm going to do it, is that from noon until, no, noon until uh, 8 in the evening, that's my window for eating. So if I'm going to eat, I only eat in that window. After that, from 8 uh, in the evening, I won't eat until noon the next day, okay? So that's 16 hours of fasting and an 8-hour window to eat, okay? I think I've been doing that already. Like, most of the time, I don't really wake up. I, I don't know. I guess after a certain age, I mean, you don't really need to, to eat that much anymore. You're maybe down to two meals a day. I feel so it's, it's, it's quite easy for me to not eat until 12, you know? But now that, I'll, I, that I know the benefits... I'm much more inclined to do so um, consistently and on a regular basis. Okay, so that's for fasting. Now for the ketogenic diet. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, ketogenic diet is basically where you're teaching your body to burn fat as fuel instead of carbohydrates. Okay, so and why would you want to do this? Well, it's, it's very simple because Carbs are a, a dirty source of fuel, okay? And any dirty source of fuel, when your body uses it, it causes waste, and there's 40% more free radicals. 
the more free radicals that you have in your body, the more damage it does to your body. Just give me a second here. Okay, sorry about that. The video was kind of uh, fuzzy there. So, free radicals will fuck you up. Okay, will get you, will cause you to get older. Uh, damage, inflammation, all kinds of stuff. Okay, really bad stuff. And then, of course, um, carbs. Well, it creates a lot of uh, because you're spiking your insulin all the time. You're uh, you're gonna end up being insulin resistant, and that's a really bad thing. That's that's like the cause of um, almost all the chronic illnesses that we have uh, at this moment in North America. Okay, so you don't want that. But a cleaner source of fuel is fat. Now, how would you do that? Well, you would need to eat. You pretty pretty much have to cut out carbs altogether. Okay, uh, the only carbs you could actually get are from fruits and vegetables and salads and stuff like that. But those carbs, I mean, there's not that much in it. Uh, it there's more uh, fiber, okay, and because those carbs are mixed in with fiber and other vitamins and nutrients, then I mean, your body actually uh, processes it very well and it has no like bad side effects, so to speak. So on the ketogenic diet, what it is is that you're actually eating uh, 50 to 75 percent of your diet consists of fats, okay? Healthy fats. So you guys could just look that up, but I'm sure you already have an idea of what the hell a healthy fat is, okay? So and then after that, you eat a little bit of protein, not much uh, protein. We're talking about uh, one about for the average person 70 grams a day, and if you're an athlete, it's about 100 grams a day of protein. Okay, so those are the, the main reasons why really I think it's worth giving it a shot, you know. Um, I mean, for fasting, you know, 2,000% increase in uh, HGH and for 400% um, and for uh, increase in BDNF, right, for the brain uh, human growth hormone. And then, of course, if you're uh, eating uh, you're using more fat as fuel as opposed to carbs, okay? Then that's why, like, you won't age as fast. You'll heal faster. You'll feel better. You will have more energy. You, you'll more. You'll be more. Uh, you won't get hungry as fast either, okay? Because you you know the guys. You know the myth about eating like fucking six seven times a day and shit like that. Well, yeah. It's because when you're consuming sugar, okay? When you're when your 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 body is using carbs as as fuel, it's Carbs, when you eat it, 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 your body breaks down and it becomes sugar, and that's what you're using, okay? Well, that's why you, you go up and down a lot. You crash, okay? Because there's sugar in your blood, and then it goes down, you crash, and then after that, fuck, you gotta eat again to bring yourself back up, you know, to, to maintain, to sustain your energy levels uh, so that they're constant throughout the day, which is fucking bullshit. But if you were to be fueled on fat, you wouldn't have to eat fucking six, seven times a day. Think about that, it actually saves you time. So me, I really feel as though at my age, I'm 39 right now, I can, I can get away with uh, eating one to two meals a day. And I think that with the knowledge I have now after watching this video, um, I think that I'd probably be able to get away with maybe one meal a day or one and a half, you know? But I would have to eat a lot more healthy fats so that I'm more uh, satisfied and my energy levels are more stable throughout the day, you know? And this, this, all of this together keeps you younger, stronger, better, faster, leaner, you know? And I definitely think that after watching this video, I'm gonna give it a shot. And I think that you should, uh, if you're not already doing some of the stuff that I mentioned, then maybe read, in, like, um, read into it some more and um, give it a go, man. You know, maybe you start with just fasting and then after that working on the diet afterwards or both or vice versa. So anyways, that's it for this video. So listen guys, uh, I'd love to hear your comments. If you have any questions, hey, let's, uh, let's make this a community and uh, you know, put some subjects on the table, talk about it, research it together, and uh, that's it, man. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.